Hey guys, welcome to Pregnancy and Postpartum TV. Today we're doing pregnancy yoga for the third trimester. We are going to work on engaging baby's head into the pelvis, getting baby in a good position, as well as the moves are going to be good if when your belly is bigger in third trimester, you may be moving a little bit more slowly. You may have more aches and pains. You may have sciatica or swollen feet, or you may feel like baby is right up underneath your ribs. We're going to do some poses to relieve all those aches and pains. This video also goes with another video I did on the nine strategies on to engage baby's head into your pelvis. And we're gonna be doing some of those strategies today, but I will also link to it. Also, you don't need any equipment for this yoga class. However, if you have them handy, you could grab a couple of blocks, you could grab your birth ball, and there's also gonna be the option to use a chair, a couch, or a bed. If you haven't grabbed it yet, I'm gonna link in the description box below to my free ebook on how to reduce and cope with pain during labor that I've got lots of great feedback on. I may look like I'm pregnant, I'm actually not. I'm just wearing a belly for demonstration. I do have three kids, but I put out yoga and workouts every week. If you like videos like these, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Let's come to a comfortable seated position. I'm sitting on a block right now. You could sit on a pillow or just sit in a comfortable cross-legged or kneeling position on the ground. Let's take a couple of breaths here. You can place your hand on your belly and connect with your baby, closing your eyes. Let's take a big inhale in. Feeling your ribs expand all around your body. Exhale out. Another big inhale in. Exhale out. Let's do some half neck circles here, just waking up the muscles. If you wanted to bring your shoulders into it a little bit, you can. Opening up your eyes, let's open up through our chest. We can bring our hands behind us, fingertips pointing towards our feet, and let's go up onto our knees and looking up, keeping length in the spine so you're not dropping your head behind, feeling a nice stretch through your chest. We'll take a breath here. Exhale out. Come back to our seated position, clasp our hands, and stretch out our shoulders the other way. Good. Before we come to all fours, let's take our feet in front of us. We're gonna be opening up the pelvis, and one of the things that opens up the inlet of the pelvis is external rotation. So if you're sitting with your feet out in front of you, sitting up tall, and then you put your knees out to the side. We wanna rotate from our hip joints. That's external rotation, and that's opening up the inlet to our pelvis. So when we're in squats or even some of the standing poses, we wanna use those same muscles that we're using now to rotate our legs out. So feel how that feels in the tops of your legs where your hip is rotating, and we're going to use that movement later throughout the practice. So making our way to all fours. Let's take another breath here and really practice engaging our core and pulling our baby into our spine. So if you're watching my belly, as I inhale, I can feel my ribs expanding all the way around. If my body was a cylinder, it would be expanding evenly. And as I exhale, I'm gonna pull in my belly and draw it in. And so that is protecting our core when we're in the movements. So when we're making a movement, we want to engage as we're moving into it and using our muscles. Let's start with a little pelvic tilt so we can exhale and tuck our pelvis under and inhale. Moving back and forth with your breath. We 
can bring our back into it now. Then rounding out as we exhale through the shoulders. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, arching, ballooning through your back. Inhale, looking up. Good. Let's come back to a neutral spine here and let's take one leg out to the side and then we can drop through that hip for a nice stretch. Let's take a breath here. If it feels good, we can rock back and forth. Could even drop down on your elbows if that felt good. Let's switch to the other side. And taking any movement that feels good here. our leg back in we'll move into a puppy pose here walking our hands forward and then as if your hands are sticking on the ground but you're drawing them back towards your body to get a nice stretch through your back taking a deep breath into your back body here Good. Let's walk our hands in and we'll come all the way up to kneeling here. We're going to move into a lunge with an external rotation of our front foot. I'm going to give you three different options. So you can put one foot forward, walking your front foot out and using your external rotation. And then you, one option is to come forward come down onto your hands or even down onto your elbows and then we'll come up and we'll move back and forth alternatively you could grab your blocks here if that's easier you could also do it over your birth ball which is probably one of my favorite ways to do it or you can do it standing with your foot on a chair or a couch which is also a great position to engage baby especially if you're in labor or the few weeks coming up to labor I'm gonna do it with my hands here, but feel free to use your block or the yoga ball. So we can come down. You could even come down onto your elbows. Let's breathe into our back body here. Expanding the back of your ribs as you breathe in. This is gonna help you release your psoas or your hip flexor. Good. Coming up, let's move back and forth a few times. If you've got your ball, you can stay leaning over your ball here. Do one more here and we'll move to the other side. Good. If your knee is bothering you, you can also put a blanket under your knee. Let's take the other leg forward, walking it out to the side, turning it out. We'll release forward. Breathing deeply, releasing through your hips. And 
When you're ready, come on up. We'll move back and forth. One more on the side coming up and we'll walk that foot back in back to our kneeling position we can come up to a standing position now keeping your core engaged your baby pulled in we can step up carefully let's bring our feet wide apart inhale our arms up we're gonna sink down for goddess pose using your external rotation here. Knees pressing towards the back of the room. Inhale up, exhale. Inhale up, exhale. Spreading the four corners of your feet and then drawing your feet together. Legs are strong. You can pull up through your pelvic floor, inhale, exhale down. Good. Let's take our hands to just above our knees. We can stretch out through our groin if it feels good. You can drop one shoulder in at a time, taking some breaths here. Good. Switching to the other side. Let's press into both feet evenly, coming back up to a standing position. Pigeon toe, your toes in now, making lots of space in your lower back and sacrum. We'll take our hands to our hips, look up, opening up our chest folding forward you can also bend your knees here let's spread our weight evenly between our front and back so you're not too far back or too far forward we can release our hands down towards the ground taking a couple of deep breaths here let's start shifting our weight to one side, bending that knee, you can walk your hands over. And then we'll shift our weight back to the other side, taking any movement that feels good here. You can drop one hip down. You can do little hip circles. Let's bend our knees now and we'll roll up one vertebra at a time. Head is last to come up. Mirroring me, you can step to your left side coming to the top of your mat and then you'll take your right foot, step it back for warrior one. We can inhale our hands up. Your hips are facing towards the side of the room. Your back edge of your foot is fast pressed firmly into the ground. Let's take our same hand as knee that's forward down, lift up through the other and then tilt over to make some space under our rib. Good, inhale, coming back up and bring your other hand to your hip now and let's open up to the side for warrior two. Back foot is perpendicular to your front foot and now hips are facing directly towards the front. Inhale, your arms out, sink a little bit deeper in your front knee. Shoulders are rolled down your back, smooth breaths.
let's tip back for peaceful warrior you can place one hand on your belly reaching up and over one more breath here inhale lifting up coming out of the pose let's step to the top of the mat from here we're going to do something equivalent to curb walking we're going to stabilize and strengthen our pelvis if you have a block you can stand on a block for this we're going to go up and down however if you don't have a block we can bend our knee and get the same stretch so finding our balance on one foot let's grab our other ankle your knee reaches towards the ground you can place your other hand on your hip and then we are going to drop that knee down and lift it up so knee is going straight up and down dropping it down lifting it up we'll do that ten times find something steady to gaze at you can also hold on to a wall with your other hand here Last one, good, straightening out your pelvis and stepping down. We'll do those poses on the other side. So we can turn now to your right for warrior one, getting your feet in position, spreading your toes, inhale up, steady breaths. your right hand down to your hip or whatever knee is forward lifting up and slight bend over inhale up bring your other hand down to your hip let's open up for warrior two Soft gaze out over your middle finger of your front hand. Working on externally rotating through your front leg again. Tipping back for Peaceful Warrior now. Good. let's come up and stepping to the top of the mat we can do our balances on the other side now spreading your toes grabbing your ankle so hips are starting even and then we can dip down lifting it up again last one good release down let's shake it out let's turn to the side here spreading our toes moving into chair we'll sit back as if we're sitting into a chair reaching your hands towards the top corner of the room shoulders are rolled down your back for lots of space between your ear and your shoulders pulling your baby in towards your spine
breathing deeply. Good. Coming up. If you have a birth ball, you can grab your birth ball now. If not, you can go and do these moves on all fours. So sitting on top of our birth ball, we'll start with some hip circles. This should feel really good. You can start a little bit smaller and then making them bigger. Let's go the other way. Good. Now we can find our spot on top again and we'll do some figure eight moves. Couple more here. Good. If you're on your ball, we can put away the ball for now and we'll get down into a wide-legged forward fold. So getting down however is comfortable and safe for you. We can take our legs out to the side, doesn't matter how far, however is comfortable for you. flexing your toes they're pointing up towards the ceiling let's give ourselves a little bit of a boost up you can also sit on a block or a pillow here let's take a big breath in exhale out we can move side to side here Really reaching up and over to make space in your ribs. Coming back up to a centered position. You can either stay and lengthen here, or if it feels good, you can walk your hands out, releasing forward. Keeping your legs active, your feet flexed. Coming up, let's bring one leg in and let's reach up and over again. You can peek underneath your arm. Nice deep breath. On an inhale coming up we'll bring the other leg in switching to the other side inhale up and over one more breath here Inhale, coming up. Let's bring both feet in for butterfly. You can really use your external rotation here, letting your knees flop out. If it feels comfortable, you can lean forward, keeping a lengthened spine. You can also give your feet a little massage here if it feels good.
coming up. Let's make our way down onto our backs. We're not gonna stay here. We don't wanna stay on your back for long at time in third trimester, but we're gonna push up into bridge. You can bring your heels in towards your fingertips and we're going to exhale, bring our belly in and pressing up into bridge. Looking up slightly so the back of your neck isn't pressed against the floor or the mat. Let's roll down one vertebra at a time. Fully relax here, relax your pelvic floor. And we'll do another bridge here. Engaging, you can also add a Kegel pelvic floor contraction to this, pressing up. Good, releasing down, rolling over onto our side. We can either come up to seated for a figure four or you can move into pigeon if you prefer. Sitting up tall, we can cross one leg just above our knee and then walk our foot on the mat up until we feel a nice stretch, finding length in our spine. You can also press into that knee if that feels good for a deeper stretch. We'll take a couple of breaths here. Releasing this side, crossing the other leg over. Once you're in the pose, releasing a little bit more through your hip, relaxing your pelvic floor. Let's release out. So I have a couple of different options for you now. You can either rest in child's pose if that feels good for you. Alternatively, if you're having swollen feet, we can do feet up the wall where you grab a pillow or a bolster and I'm gonna put it against the wall here. I'm going to inch myself close to the wall. roll on my side and then I can shimmy the bolster under and I'm not lying flat on my back here so my vein is protected from the weight of my uterus and baby here and you can relax here or alternatively if you're looking to engage your baby we can do a forward leaning fold so feel free to stay here if you're lying on your back or you can grab a chair or be on the edge of a couch or bed. I'm gonna pull this chair over here. So we can get up into a kneeling position. Sitting back down, grabbing the edge of the chair, couch, or bed, walking our hands down on a stool or bolster, and then down to the ground. Once we're there, we can come down on our elbows, tuck our chin, and give a posterior pelvic tilt. And we can hold this for 30 seconds, helping our baby engage. So even if your baby is head down, this is safe to do for 30 seconds. But you could also just stay in one of your relaxing positions, child's pose or feet up the wall. And when 
when you're ready, you can push up and get someone to help you up or safely come back up onto your stool or bolster chair. And then we'll come up to a kneeling position, making sure that our hips are over our knees. We'll take a couple of breaths here. can find our way to Shavasana now, our last pose. I'm going to place the chair back. I'm going to use the bolster between my knees and I have a blanket for under my head. Lowering yourself safely down on your side. Finding a comfortable position here. You can place your hand on your belly, connect with your baby. Fully relax your body, scan your whole body, feel heavy on the floor. Take a couple of deep breaths in, sigh out. <sighs> Wiggling our fingers and toes, stretching in opposite direction. We can push up to a seated position. I'm going to read the pregnancy yoga card for the day, which says, my body and mind are strong. I trust my body and believe in my strength as a mother. Namaste to you and namaste to the babies. Thank you so much for joining me for that third trimester yoga. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and to get more weekly pregnancy yoga and workout, subscribe and hit the notification bell. I also have lots of free resources that I will put in the description box below, a meal plan that I put together as a registered dietitian, a guide on how to prepare your pelvic floor for birth and the fastest recovery after, a complete guide on how to reduce and cope with pain during labor, and you can also grab your copy of the pregnancy yoga cards. Thank you so much for joining me again. If you liked that yoga class, I'm going to link to another third trimester yoga class as well as the whole prenatal yoga and workout playlist. You can save it and come back to different videos whenever you like. Thank you.